Hi, this is Belinda from Belinda Lee Briggs Web Design, and I'm going to show you my favorite trick for figuring out whether I'm really having an unsaved form block submission issue, or if it's really just a spam email address that's getting sent to me. So let's check it out. What I like to do is jump on my phone and use the MailChimp app because it does some pretty cool things. So get your phone out, download the MailChimp app, and then come on back and let's get started. Okay, so you wanna open up that unsaved form block submission message and you wanna copy the email address listed under email address. And then you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and head over to MailChimp on your phone and open it up. So let's do that. Let's jump over to the MailChimp app. There we go. The next thing you wanna do is go down to the bottom of the screen and click that center button audience. You're gonna see there's a red square around there. So once you've got that clicked, on the next page, you're going to wanna to click the add person icon toward the top there underneath where you're checking to see if you have any bars, you'll see that there's a red square around that. So click that button and it's gonna bring a pop-up menu on the bottom of your screen and you're going to want to choose add manually. From there, you're gonna to come to the manual add page where you can add that contact and you're gonna now paste in that email address you copied from your email. Go ahead and do that. And then we're going to, once we've got that in there, we're gonna click the add button over there on the top. Now, MailChimp is smart and it's gonna ask us whether we're spammers, it's gonna ask you of permission to email that person. And yes, since that person actually did attempt to add themselves via your website, we're gonna click yes here. So go ahead and click that yes. Now, if MailChimp indeed rejected that email address because they thought it was spam, you're going to get this message right here. And if they didn't think it was spam and it was really a connection issue, it's just going to add successfully. But we can see this particular email address. Um, they may really be spam or they may have just been signing up for tons of lists. They're at home and they're bored and they're wanting to um, get in touch with humans out there. So they're joining lists. So here are your options. You can either scrap them and forget about them, or you can wait a couple of days and come back and try them again. Even better, you could email them and find out if they're a real person. Maybe not, maybe you won't want, don't wanna do that. But in any case, this is how I foolproof discover whether or not I'm really trying to troubleshoot an issue between MailChimp and Squarespace disconnecting, or if it's really a spam email. And I can tell you, very, very rarely does it come back that I'm not getting this message that the address was spam. I hope that helps. And um, if you need to do more searching, if you were able to search to add them and you do think um, that maybe there's an issue, there's a blog post link down in the comments that might be able to help you get closer to the finish line. Thanks so much. And don't forget to subscribe to my email newsletter where you'll get great videos like this. Thanks.